Memorials are popping up all across Michigan State University tonight, remembering the tragic moments from last night's shooting. Let's get to our Sean Lay now, who's live tonight getting reaction there. Sean? Reaction and Devin waiting for word, any type of word about the five still in the hospital right now. So no word on an updated condition as they fight for their lives as doctors fight for their lives as well. Here at the statue and on campus here, we have news media now kind of breaking down, but going live here at 11 o'clock, not just from across the state, but from across the country here, sharing the stories of what happened here uh, about 20, little more than 24 hours ago. And if you look at the statue here, the growing memorial of the flowers. We're on campus getting a sense of how students are feeling now, and they're starting to ask the question, how do they move forward from here? Flowers all over the MSU campus and not for Valentine's Day, but for one of the saddest days MSU may ever see. Senior Rakan Alatei is about to graduate with a degree in criminal justice. Trying to make a difference in this world, you know. He'll never forget hearing those gunshots that took lives and forever changed lives. Screaming, running, everyone's running for his life, you know. Doing the drills that we practice for, you know, it's something unpleasant and just to you know be there for each other rabbi Ben zion shem Tov was teaching a class when those shots rang out this community moves forward but how we're always taught to take one step at a time one good deed at a time and the feelings of students at this moment of shock personally i i, I agree that it, it's an atrocious thing but you just can't live in fear every day you have to you have to just keep, keep your head up and um, just take it day by day. And Rakan, his feelings are to add to the flowers, not to the fear. To make me process my emotions, to honor the victims, to honor the deaths that happened. This will not define us, we will come back stronger. This will not define us, we will come back stronger, he says, but that certainly will take time. You still get the sense here of shock and then grieving those lives lost and of course the prayers and hope the hanging on for the five still in the hospital right now. Kimberly, Devin, back to you. We've certainly learned that so far, Sean. It's really hard to find shortcuts uh, to getting through this and going through what it takes to get through it. All right, Sean. So